Hi guys, welcome back. This is Jenna here. So today we're going to make a very nice recipe uh, that my mom has been doing for years and years. We're going to make a vegan cream cheese. That's right. And it's so easy. You cannot blink because this recipe is super fast and you are going to love it because it tastes so freaking good. And let's go. So we add, like I said, the plant-based milk, uh, milk to a pot. We're going to uh, almost boil it. Now that our plant-based milk is uh, in the pot here, we're going to babysit it because we don't want it to boil because if it boils, it's going to kill the acid that we're going to use. In this case, it's going to be vinegar. You can do it with lemon as well. But like I am saying, it cannot be too hot, so it kills the acid. And if it's too uh, cold, nothing's gonna happen. So my advice to you is, if you babysit it, you're gonna keep looking at your plant-based milk here. And when you see that the bubbles um, are starting to flow to come up, then you turn it off. It's approximately 80 degrees Celsius, this much of degrees Fahrenheit, because I don't remember, but it's written right here in the screen. And uh, this is it. Now I'm just going to babysit my milk. All right, almost, almost boiling. Now I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to add four tablespoons of vinegar. This is white vinegar. It can be any vinegar of your preference. Of course, not balsamic vinegar because of obvious reasons. So, four tablespoons, two, three, Four. So you are immediately going to see that it's uh, curling up. So you take your spoon and very gently you stir it, but like really gently, okay? You barely stir it at all because we don't want to uh, break these uh, curdles here. All right? Fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let it sit for five to 10 minutes because one, we want the, these um, curdles to be a little bit more firm and because we want it to cool down uh, a little bit more because we're going to put it in a cheesecloth and squeeze all the water. All right, so now you see how big the curdles are. Now we're going to pass it through a sieve and on top of this sieve, this uh, mesh strainer, we have a uh, uh, double cheesecloth. And then we're going to pour it down. And squeeze all the excess water. And then you're going to squeeze it all this water please have in mind that the more that you squeeze now your cream cheese is going to be firmer but if you want it a little bit softer then you can leave a little bit of this water inside because it doesn't matter so much right and now we are going to add these this is a cheese, uh, uh, actually, this is almost a tofu. So we're going to add it to a blender. And to that, we're going to add half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more, of salt. Oh, by the way, all the measurements and um, everything about this recipe is going to be written down below in the description box down below or on our website, so check this out. A vegan butter, this one I made, and also plant-based milk, any plant-based milk. And now just blend it.
All set. Now we just transfer to any kind of bowl or anything that you're going to use. It's super soft. Don't worry if you think it's too liquid. It is not, I promise you, because once you put it in the fridge, it's going to firm up. And you look at these. Wow. Mm. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm. It's so good. Oh my God, how I love it. I really want you guys to make it. But of course I'm going to taste it with a little bit of bread because hello, mm, this is the perfect combination, isn't it? Right, I have forgotten to, to take my bread, but here it is now. Wow, it looks so nice, doesn't it? Mmm. Oh. So good. Mmm. Oh, you have to make it. Oh my god. This will last uh, up to a week in the fridge. You can freeze it up to three months. And uh, hello, Bob Zeranko. Fantastic recipe, super easy. And uh, this is it for today. Don't forget to like this video, please, because like I said, it helps a lot. And uh, check on my social media, as well as my Patreon. And to my patrons, I love you guys. And I see you next time. Have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.